Thank you for joining us, everyone, today for our Slack Title IX talk. We are joined today by Karen Thompson Wolf from Westminster College. Karen, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to talk with us a little about Title IX. First of all, for those who may not know you, can you give a little background on yourself? Well, I have been at Westminster College for 27 years. Um, I've served as faculty athletic rep since 2005. So what is that, 17 years? Um, I am originally a graduate of the University of Missouri with degrees in edu mathematics education and statistics. And I currently serve as assistant dean of the first year experience in learning opportunities at Westminster College. Do you need to know anything else? <laughs> no, I think that's a good starting point. You know, during this series this year, we've talked to coaches, we've talked to administrators. I wanted to talk to you because you're more on the classroom side of things, the learning, the academic side. Um, for those who didn't know, Title IX, obviously you hear Title IX, you think athletics. But Title IX doesn't necessarily always deal just with the athletics world. Um, it's about ensuring quality across the board, including educational programs. Um, can you talk a little bit how you ensure equality um, among the educational programs at Westminster College? Well, I know in um, as part of our admissions process, we we try to explore diversity in general, whether it's gender diversity or ethnic diversity, and account for known biases and things like that that exist. So we try to factor that into all of our kind of decisions about admission and when we're assigning students to first year seminars, we really try to ensure that we get a diverse pool within each seminar. Um, gender, we try to balance gender, we try to balance diversity. Um, I think that offers greater opportunities for the students in the classroom if you can diversify both, you know, gender and ethnicity, but also demographics, you know, mm -hmm. small town, big town. Yeah. Uh, everybody has a unique story they bring into the classroom. And my job as the first year seminar is to ensure that we kind of give them a unique opportunity to explore and learn. That's great. You know, like you said, it's, it's really about getting different perspectives, right? Um, it is. You know, you know, you might come from, you said, from a city and you might not know how a rural life lives or vice versa. And it's just getting everybody on board to see kind of the whole picture and that everybody sees stuff differently in their different perspectives. They do. And, you know, everybody's background is different. You could grow up in the same town and mm -hmm. one small change and you have just a different lens on looking at an issue or a problem. Sure. Um, as someone, as as you mentioned, 27 years, so nearly 30 years working at collegiate institutions, how have you seen Title IX grow over that time? Mm, that's a tough one. Um, I feel that um, Title IX, by the time I started working, Title IX had been pretty well entrenched, at least mm -hmm. athletically. Sure. Um you see, you saw most, you know, most institutions that we encountered um, had opportunities for both genders and that had been well established, you know, in the 20 something years prior to that. Um, I think one of the ways I've seen that is the seriousness with which higher education has taken all the prongs of Title IX more seriously. Um, designating Title IX coordinators, uh, training Title IX committees to be active in the implementation and addressing is Title IX issues on campus. I know that we actually have a committee that has been formed and trained to be part of that Title IX team. And, and I, that did not exist when I started. So I think that that's kind of a neat avenue. Right. Yeah. Like you said, putting those committees together to ensure that, you know, it's not just athletics, but it's it's campus wide. Um, that's correct. Making that campus wide impact. So 
Uh, my final question for you today, uh, why, why do you think it is important to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Title IX? Well, I can tell you, as somebody who entered athletics in junior high, and there were no women's opportunities when I entered junior high for athletics, so we competed against the boys, um, that it's offering young people the opportunity um, that I didn't have. Mm -hmm. uh, I did in high school get that opportunity, um, but it was kind of slapped together at the time. Um, we didn't even get a real basketball coach until I was a sophomore in high school. It was kind of just pieced together and the world changed when we got a real basketball coach. We went from three and 17 to 10 and 10 to 16 and five to district champs. You know, all it took is a coach and title nine created the opportunities for people like myself and those that came after to pursue your passion. I love athletics. I have sports. I mean, I'm not as active now, you know, getting to that six, six O mark. It's harder and harder, but I, it's a joy to watch kids have opportunities that I didn't get. So I think it's a joy to celebrate that. And, you know, we have to thank those hard workers from the sixties to that really made the impact. Um, For sure. Cause without them, who knows how long it would have taken. But it's cool to see Title IX, not just in sports, but to see traditional gender single institutions expand to, you know, I think of the scouting. Uh, it's cool that it's open to women now. That would have been fun when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's, it's important to celebrate it because it does offer opportunities, not just athletics, but it ensures people look at equality, mm -hmm. um, especially in higher ed and in, in, in schools. Yeah. And I, I think, I think my biggest takeaway, I loved the, the way you phrased it there. And I think we'll leave it on that note when you said um, it gives people the opportunity to pursue their passion. Um, so I want to thank you again, Karen, for uh, joining us today and talking a little title nine and uh, we'll see you around. All right. Thank you. Have thank a great you. day. All right.